Tourism is the third leading industry in Oklahoma, trailing only oil and gas and aerospace, and it is growing, thanks in part to an energetic new lieutenant governor and an iconic roadway reborn. How are you? Introduce myself, Matt Pinnell. Robbie Corcoran. Robbie, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to Lieutenant you. Governor. Matt Pinnell is a man on a mission, tasked by the governor to make Oklahoma a top 10 state in tourism. And the 39-year-old from Jenks is embracing that challenge head on. This visit to the recently opened Mother Road Market in Tulsa was one of five speaking engagements on his Tuesday schedule. And the message is consistent and focused. And for sure, Route 66 has got to be in the middle of all of our marketing efforts down at the state capitol. Any state's got to play to their strengths, and I really believe that tourism is one of our greatest strengths. I mean, we make a lot of money uh, off the tour, off tourism in Oklahoma, about $650 million in state and local tax revenue off tourism. Uh, which is a big deal. And again, that's for a state that, that is not spending significant money, I don't think adequate money, on marketing what we are doing. Most every other state spends far more marketing their state. And we're going to get there. According to the U.S. Travel Association, California spent the most on tourism marketing in 2017-18, over $120 million. Oklahoma dedicated a shade under $13 million, more than Kansas, but less than neighboring states Arkansas and Texas. For every dollar we spend on tourism advertising, you get about $8 back. So your return on your investment, when you spend money to get people off roads and bridges and talk to them about how great of a state that we have, we're making money on it. He is so enthusiastic, he has great ideas, and he has the wherewithal to make these things happen. So he is, every, he is all about the Mother Road and Route 66. Pinnell believes the continued revitalization of Route 66 embodied by venues like the Mother Road Market is the key component in luring tourists to our state. We're not going to do a great job of promoting tourism in the state if we don't double down on Route 66. And Route 66, in my opinion, is our greatest uh, tourism asset that we have. No other state has more miles than we do of Route 66, so we should be promoting it much more heavily than we are. We end up seeing a lot of out-of-towners, people that are just coming in, kind of, you know, for the first time, eyes wide open, wondering, you know, what this is all about. They're surprised Oklahoma has something so cool. And then a lot of people that live in other states, they, they think, like, finally, you know, I think Oklahoma's growing up. You're starting to see the private investment. And that's what the mother road is. And, you know, that's like Buck Adams down the street on 11th. You know, the, the that little shop is private investment, and it's happening because we as a public have decided to invest in Route 66. As you see on our map, we get them from Europe, from China, from all over, and they're just coming to check out America and check out Route 66 and see that vintage Americana. And Liz says you'll soon be seeing a super-sized piece of Americana right outside in the parking lot. We are getting um, Buck Adams. He is a 21-foot tall space cowboy, and he's landing here on May 10th. An interstellar tourist, you might say. And based on the last available statistics, in 2016, there were 22 million of them visiting our state. And that number continues to grow, thanks in part to Pinnell's increasing emphasis on social media marketing. First off, it is free. Uh, and, and, and a lot of things can go pretty viral on social media. Now, there's good and bad in that uh, in, in politics. But for us, it's good. I mean, it, the lieutenant governor has requested a $2 million budget increase from the legislature. If he gets it, he will use some of that money to purchase tourism advertising on social media. His office has also just completed an online photography contest dedicated to sharing the diverse beauty of Oklahoma. Within three or four days, we had over 10,000 submissions. Now he's got to find the time to pour through all of them and choose 20 or 30 winners. We're going to post them out in the rotunda at the state capitol so that everybody can see them, and then we're going to move them inside the lieutenant governor office, and they're going to hang on our walls for the next four years.